So far, Musk's main focus has been to change the way cars are made and to take over outer space, right? But aside from that, it looks like he might want to build a smart, green city of the future now. The tech billionaire just said that he wants to build his own city in Africa, which is such a crazy idea. But before we dive in deep into the details of his plans, let us first get to know what really makes a smart city or a sustainable city. So without further ado, here are the top 6 traits of a smart city. Number 1. Citywide Public Transportation Access One of the best things a sustainable city can do to deal with problems like traffic and rising carbon pollution is to have a good public transportation system. About 37 million metric tons of carbon dioxide are saved each year by the public transportation system in the United States. Transportation planners and towns that try to be sustainable are always adding to and improving public transportation. People who live in cities are less likely to drive because buses and subways are cheaper, faster, and easier to get to. Number two, pedestrian and bike-friendly sidewalks. In addition to encouraging people to take public transportation, sustainable towns encourage people to walk and ride bikes, which don't produce any pollution. Urban planners in eco-friendly cities build bike and pedestrian-friendly infrastructure. And that is to make cities easier to get around on foot. Some of these improvements are bike lanes, a significant increase in crossing lights, and wider sidewalks. Now Javier Roche, a business writer at Paper Fellows and State of Writing, says that it can be dangerous for cyclists to share the road with cars. Bike paths are all over the city and give cyclists a place to ride that makes them feel safer. Number 3. Stations for charging electric cars Now to encourage people to purchase electric cars over their less eco-friendly alternatives, sustainable cities provide convenient electric car recharge stations throughout the city. Since the ultimate aim of many urban planners is to completely eliminate car emissions, many sustainable cities offer a variety of incentives for electric vehicle owners. Number 4. Sustainable Architecture Many modern skyscrapers in sustainable communities are environmentally friendly. The design, construction, and operation of these structures incorporate multiple elements of sustainability. Green buildings feature energy-efficient ventilation, heating, and water systems in addition to solar panels. Now, tech blogger Thomas Jackson explains that because they offer an eco-conscious path to urban sustainability and reduce maintenance costs, the green building market is one of the world's fastest growing industries. Number five, modern agriculture in urban areas. Due to the accelerated population growth on Earth, food security is a major concern for many cities. Sustainable cities are experimenting with urban cultivation as a solution. In addition to urban agriculture, sustainable cities frequently promote personal food production through community cultivation. Finally, number six, green water management and waste solutions. Fresh water is a valuable resource that many green towns are aware of. So, their city builders try to limit how much water the cities use whenever they can. In the coming years, it will be more and more important to handle water in cities in a sustainable way. Now, recycling programs are in place in both green and not-so-green towns. But sustainable cities often go above and beyond when it comes to making sure these plans are followed. Some towns that try to be sustainable have strict rules about recycling and composting. This helps hold their people responsible. 
Okay, so Elon Musk has always fantasized about a sustainable community where everyone has access to healthcare, living is cheap, and education is free up to the university level. Now this project is called Neo Gardens. The South African government seems to be on board with Musk's plan, since they have recently given him their stamp of approval. One story from Bloomberg also backs up this news. It says that Elon Musk is all about building a city that is based on clean energy. The South African government gave him a nice place in Botswana, seven miles from the capital city of Gaborone. It is right next to Cape Town, which has four million people living there. Elon Musk wants his new smart city to be big. In fact, he wants it to have more people and be bigger than the African towns that are there now. Musk will use solar energy to power the city, which means he will need a lot of solar screens. Plans for the green paradise include 8 million square feet of park space. This is 25% less space than other cities, which almost seems wrong since most futuristic city plans focus on open areas. But for these, he will use them to plan neighborhoods, where everything is close enough to walk to. Musk also wants to put tree-filled rooftop gardens all over the city. Since you've already reached this far, why not go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button? For sure you won't regret it, because we have tons more videos for you to look forward to about the next big things happening around the globe and the world of traveling. Also, comment down below the topics you'd love to learn more about in our next videos. We'd love to hear them all. Now, back to the video. Now Musk actually gave a TED talk in 2010 about how cars add to global warming, and he is very committed to changing this. Musk is also working to reach this goal with a new green city on the plains of South Africa. Musk talked about his mistakes in an interview last year. One of them was not being able to get rid of poverty. If the Neo Gardens are going to do one more thing, it will be exactly this. Musk is putting his whole heart and soul into this new project because he thinks they will help a lot of poor people get out of poverty. So what are your thoughts on Elon Musk's plan for this new smart city in Africa? Do you believe he'll actually be able to pull it off? We'd love to discuss more with you in the comment section. Until next time!